Welcome to Short Talk with a Scientist. I'm Dr. Taya Klancic, your host, passionate about nutrition, metabolism, and the fascinating world of gut microbes. Today, I'm excited to introduce a remarkable scientist and my dear friend, Dr. Raylene Reimer. Not only is she an incredible mentor, but her guidance has deeply influenced my journey in science. At the Reimer Research Group, she leads pioneering efforts to understand how nutrition can combat chronic diseases from basic research to innovative clinical trials. Dr. Reimer's team is at the forefront of using prebiotics, which is also known as fiber, to tackle conditions like obesity, fatty liver disease, and diabetes. Raylene, it feels surreal to be in your office five years mm -hmm. after completing my PhD. I just want to express my gratitude for you taking the time today to share your scientific stories with us. So what story will you share with us today? Well, it's <laughs> incredibly exciting to have you back in Calgary and to just talk to you about what we, I know we share a passion for science, for nutrition, for the gut microbiota. <laughs> so this is so exciting to have you back here and you are just such a superstar oh. <laughs> in my in my mind and oh. in my memories so it's just I'm so honored that you are asking me to just talk about some of the work we do here so very uh, exciting the pleasure is all mine really yeah. <laughs> so I thought I would start by just uh, giving an example of one of the studies we did at quite a while ago, a number of years ago, mm -hmm. that really inspired me to work more closely on the gut microbiota or all the bacteria, the viruses, the fungi that live in our gut. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm very interested in a healthy diet across all of our lifespans, so, but especially in pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So we did a study, one of uh, my students did a study where they um, looked at pregnant rats and they fed them something called the prebiotic fiber, which you mentioned. So this is really good for feeding healthy bacteria in, in our gut. So we fed that during pregnancy and then we looked at the offspring. We let the babies grow up into adulthood and they ate a high fat and a high sugar diet. Mm -hmm. So not a diet that's going to be very good for these animals. Um, but we were so interested to see did the mother's diet during pregnancy, just during pregnancy, that short amount of time, mm -hmm. did that have any effect later on in life? And it did, and it was so protective against something called fatty liver mm, wow. and obesity. Mm -hmm. And it was just really surprising to me and inspired me that something that could be done during pregnancy would have such a long lasting effect all the way into adulthood for, for these offspring. So this led me to think about, well, there must be other things during pregnancy that might be protective, mm -hmm. like this fiber, or maybe harmful. And so, I mean, that's some of the work that you did while you were um, doing your PhD in, in my lab. And so we saw that antibiotics, yep. if you take antibiotics in early life, so if that's mom has to take them during pregnancy or baby has to take them very early in life, mm -hmm. this changes the gut microbiome mm -hmm. and that can have long lasting effect. Um, and especially, I mean, the work that we've done a lot of in my lab and also you did was looking at overweight and, and obesity. Mm -hmm. um, other things that we became interested in, again, focusing on pregnancy were other diet mm -hmm. factors. And one of those was artificial sweeteners. Right. So we know that artificial sweeteners um, are meant really to do good. They're supposed to help us eat less sugar take out some calories from food, but what they've begun to see mm -hmm. is that these actually might change the gut microbiota, so mm -hmm. disrupt it, mm -hmm. and that could have consequences for overweight and obesity and even type 2 diabetes. Right. 
So we did another study, oh. again, looking at the artificial sweeteners, if they were consumed during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we saw that this was not very good for the offspring and they actually had higher risk of overweight or obesity when they uh, grew up. So, and mm -hmm. again, it wasn't that the, the offspring, the, the babies or the children consumed the artificial sweeteners, only mom did during pregnancy. During pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So we just knew that pregnancy was so critical, critical mm -hmm. um, and, and really influenced the gut microbiome. It, it always seemed to come back to an influence on the gut microbiota in early life, and then that has such a profound effect on our health later in life. Later in life. Mm -hmm. But, okay. there's a but. <laughs> Pregnancy can be difficult. Right. It's not easy for everybody. Mm -hmm. Some people, pregnancy is a wonderful time. You, you feel great, mm -hmm. you, you're eating well, mm -hmm. you're exercising like they recommend, and things just seem to be going well. That doesn't happen for everybody. So for some women, Pregnancy is difficult, and it's maybe not easy to eat the foods that they recommend. And so sometimes there are things that we need to look at, can we do later in life mm -hmm. to make up for maybe things that didn't go well during pregnancy. So for me as a researcher and as a dietitian, mm -hmm. I'm really interested in what can we do through our whole life so yes we would like to have a wonderful pregnancy right but you know for babies for children for adults later in life is there anything we can do mm -hmm. to make our gut microbiome healthy and we've really focused the research on these prebiotic fibers mm -hmm. and they do improve your microbiota um, and we've shown in, in children who mm -hmm. have overweight and obesity that if they can take a prebiotic fiber supplement, it can decrease their body fat mm -hmm. percentage and it can slow down how quickly they're gaining weight right. in life to help bring them more into a normal growth pattern, which is really important. Mm -hmm. And then in adults too, we've looked at um, individual adults who have overweight or obesity or adults who have fatty liver disease mm -hmm. and seen benefits there and yeah. again it all comes back to the fact that diet is so important mm -hmm. in changing our gut microbiome and things like fiber all kinds of fiber including prebiotic fiber mm -hmm. create a healthy um, gut microbiome and so my motto in life is happy gut, happy life. <laughs> and we like to eat foods, lots of fiber that create a healthy gut for us. And it really does impact, have so much impact on our health. That is fantastic. Um, I have one question. Mm -hmm. So what sweeteners mm -hmm. did you use in the study? Um, because there's lots of them, right? There are, and that's a great question. So I said artificial sweeteners, and so artificial sweetener that we used was aspartame. Mm -hmm. But we also tested in that animal study, right? stevia, right. which right. is a natural mm -hmm. low calorie ste um, sweetener. sweetener. Yeah. And it they had very similar effects, mm -hmm. and those effects were not good right. for the offspring. Right. So, you know, the the question always is, well, then what, what should we do? Right. Should we consume any of these no-calorie, low-calorie sweeteners? And, and if they have an effect on their gut, gut microbiome, mm -hmm. which doesn't seem to be very good, then maybe we should really limit our intake of all those types of sweeteners. Right. And if we do consume sugar, because sugar is sweet and tastes <laughs> good, yeah. you know, just look at the amount of sugar you're consuming and moderate it exactly. and keep it to a low healthy amount so it's right. very interesting nutrition is a field that is we are always learning new things it's always true it's evolving it's, it's evolving. evolving 
And I, uh, at this point, I would just said, probably it's all about the amount, you mm -hmm. know, no extremes yes. in life or anywhere are yes. good. And that also holds true for the nutrition. Yes. Uh, Raylene, thank you so much for, for sharing this with mm -hmm. us, a nice overview mm -hmm. of your life's work. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate you taking the time and yeah, all the best in the future. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>